In this box, I've got the weirdest turtle I've ever bought. Does it have two heads? Yes, it does, but it gets a lot more bizarre than that. But before we unbox this, I finally get to set up this awesome bowl for the turtle for my friends over at Zen Aqua. And for the short term, I think this is gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and head to the pet shop to get some supplies. And for you snake lovers out there, later in the vlog, we're gonna cut a clutch of cool snake eggs. So stay tuned for that, but let's go ahead and hit the pet shop. And I'm off to one of my favorite pet shops in the area. It's called Keys Aquarium. They'll definitely have everything I need to set this turtle up. Always love this place. It's just so cool. It takes me back to my early days of keeping animals. First thing I need is some gravel for the bottom. I think that this stuff is gonna be really good. I'm gonna wanna probably go with something bigger, something natural, kind of cool. Don't need a lot. I'm gonna think I'm gonna use two bags and then I'm gonna look for uh, maybe something floaty, maybe some plants. These plants are pretty cool right here. I think it'd be cool just to add a little bit of color to it. And then the last thing I need, if I can find something that's floaty, if not, I can make it back at the shop. And then secondly, a filter. This. That's perfect, huh? It would do up to a 12 gallon too. That's perfect. Yeah, they probably you have extra carbon, get out of stinky yeah, yeah, turtles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good with the filter. This would actually be perfect, but I don't know if it floats or sinks. Of course, you always know I'm gonna look at some fish Gosh, here while I'm here. I get so pumped about fish, it's crazy. Look at how cool these African cichlids are This here. is amazing. Gosh, look at how cool. Look at the arowana. This is like a predator tank, a freshwater predator tank. Got iridescent shark here, arowana here, red-tailed catfish, pleco down there. All right, got everything we need. Back to the shop and let's set this turtle up. All right, first thing we need to do is actually just pour these rocks in here. They're actually pretty good when they come in packages like this, but we still want to just run some water through them, get any dust or any debris out. And then these will go in the bottom of that bowl. So we got the water in there, we got some conditioner that'll take the chlorine off of the turtle. And then we can open that turtle up and find out how cool it is. out this filter hopefully it's easy to put together I'm never good at these things oh it looks like it's already put together that makes it easy all right so now all i need to do is put a floaty thing on top of this so it can get out of the water this is again may not be the end setup here uh, it's the start anyway so let's go ahead and unbox that turtle or should i say turtles now that we have it all set up it's time to see how bizarre this turtle is i saw pictures of it and i was like oh my gosh you guys know i love weird stuff and i can't help myself when things like this come available so let's see what's inside oh it's like christmas morning as always like i said you guys are gonna trip i've bought some weird animals in the past but holy cow this one oh doggy oh just i'm getting the glimpse of it and it looks so weird oh my gosh okay here we go i'm gonna open up and show you guys this is a weird one take a look at this guys yes it has two heads this is actually a yellow belly slider which is one of the more common turtles in the southeast part of america they get about you know nine to twelve inches long depending on male and female but look at these guys have two heads but this is what's interesting about them. one two three four legs up front two legs in the back and they're conjoint shells too they would call a conjoint twin now polycephaly a two-headed turtle is actually a conjoint twin as well but these guys have conjoint shells and it's going to be really interesting to see how they do number one i can't wait to see how they swim when we put them in this bowl and just see what's going on and they look really good. I mean, they look super healthy. They're super energetic. They're all moving around. I mean, is that the weirdest turtle you've ever seen in your entire life? Definitely the weirdest turtle I've ever owned. There's no doubt about that. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait till it gets bigger. It can actually get on display. For now, we're going to keep it in the podcast room and baby it for the next maybe six months. Let it get some size to it. Oh my gosh, that thing is awesome. All right, I'm excited about this. I don't know how they're going to swim. I don't know what they're going to do. This is pretty amazing. <laughs> well, they float, that's for sure. That's interesting. Oh, and look at they're starting to cruise around now. They're in the plants, they like that. So, wow, this is cool. We'll just let this guy chill for a little bit. We'll check back on them, see how they're settling in. Like I said, I'll get a floaty thing for them to climb up onto. This is gonna be perfect and it's awesome here in the podcast room while I'm doing a podcast. Which, by the way, go over to Checking In Podcast, link in the description. You can check that out every Saturday night. That's cool, how freaking awesome is that? Need names for these guys? Down in the comments, let me know the names. Let's go cut some snake eggs. And as promised, we're getting into some egg cutting. This clutch only has two, four, five eggs in it, but it's actually a cinnamon female bread to a pastel vanilla bamboo spider. I just think that that bamboo and cinny and all the other stuff mixed together could be really interesting. There's actually some pips in some of these eggs already, so they are definitely ready to go. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut the best we can here and see what's inside these eggs. I think the combos could be really something special. Right after the rip, it looks like we have maybe just like a cinny, to be honest with you. Nothing too exciting there, possibly a vanilla. That was definitely not what I wanted to start with, but hey, it's not about how you start, it's about the way you end, right? We still have four eggs left to go. I think the cinnamon vanilla bamboo together 
together. Maybe the spider in there. There's a pastel in there. Could be some really cool animals. So let's go ahead and cut egg number two that didn't pip so far so we can see what's inside here and see what we've got. Oop, nothing too crazy here. Looks like maybe just a vanilla, to be honest with you. It doesn't even look like there's any combos, which is weird because the one animal has four genetic mutations. The other animal has one. So that's five mutations. To produce just one single gene is kind of weird. That's the way the odds go. We still have a few eggs to go. So let's hope for the best. This one's pipped as well. Can't really see what's inside it. So I'm just going to kind of cut around a little bit and just see what we can see in here. Mm -mm. See that, guys? Mm -mm. Wow. Two heads. Mm -mm. Two, four legs. Six legs. Six, Six legs. legs. How hard do you think it is to live life that way? Can't be easy. I've got an idea. Where's your head at? <laughs> Tingle. Oh, it's oh. not gonna work. Pull, 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 go. Ah. Push. Ah. <laughs> this will throw it. Come on, come on. Just up jump up. Stop being ridiculous. There it is. See? All right, Fruit's coming down. Yeah, getting in that t-shirt really made me hungry. You guys want a Lunchable? I always want Do we have to share one? Yep. Oh. I just realized that we fall down there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have ham and cheddar and turkey and American. What I would like to want? vote turkey and American. Turkey? Alright, we'll do that then. No, we had just one. We have just one. one. We have three heads. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys! I like that. How are you doing? I am Good, Guys, Noah, how are you? Who's Hi, paying Jay. for this? Hi, Mike. Mike, I think. Mike doesn't even arm. have arms. 627. Mike. I don't have arms. <laughs> you have arms. Wait, everyone's smile. Gotta get a picture. Okay, everyone's smile. smile. <laughs> <laughs> you never pay for anything. Never. You're the worst head I've ever had, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Oh my god, that's a good one. I like that. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 <laughs> oh, this is not gonna work. <laughs> Mike, you can't move. You don't have arms. Just sit down oh. and just help. That. Okay. Okay. Noah, you need to move your chair closer to us. What are you doing? I can't. It's Mike's lap. I'm in Mike's lap. And what do we have? Unbelievable, guys. This looks like another, maybe just vanilla ball python. So two single gene animals out of that. That is crazy. And you guys know we've had some crazy good odds this year. And we've had some odds that have been a little bit not so good. You know what I mean? That one was definitely a bummer. Let's go ahead. We've got two eggs left to go. I really want to see the all gene animal. I mean, that would be incredible. It'd be a pewter vanilla spider bamboo. That would be ridiculous. Let's see if it's in this egg. You never know. Every egg, there's possibilities. And uh, what do we have here? Crazy, a vanilla spider. So we have definitely not been hitting really great odds on this clutch, but we still have one egg to go. And I can see inside this egg cause it's already pipped and it's definitely a bamboo of sorts. Now let's see if we get lucky and get the cinnamon in there and some of the other genes in there. That would be absolutely incredible. Uh, looks really cool, whatever it is. Oh, it's a really pretty snake, but unfortunately I don't think the cinnamon made it in. So I think what happened actually is that there's every other gene. It looks like it's a pastel, it's a vanilla, it's a bamboo. It's a spider. We have the bumblebee vanilla bamboo, which is really beautiful, but unfortunately we missed with the cinnamon, which is kind of a bummer. That's so the way it goes, guys. Sometimes you hit and sometimes you miss. Still produce this really beautiful snake. And hey, even the other snakes are really amazing. Wait till they hatch out and maybe I'll be surprised and there'll be more than just one gene. Rub your hands together really good. Get in between the no, fingers. No, 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 we're not doing that. Don't do that. Okay, turkey. Really get in there, guys. Oh, perfect. perfect, perfect. Now feed Mike. Hey, cool. <laughs> Welcome. Jeez. Feed the Noah. Yeah. You like double cheese? I do like extra cheese, please. Extra cheese, okay. Yeah, always extra cheese on everything. Do we have one stomach? I don't know, we haven't got an x ray. That was good. What is this? What are we? What's the definition of polycephaly? Yeah! Wow! <laughs> You're the first one. You're the first one to do this. And what exactly are you doing? Why is my shirt ripped? Polycephaly. Polycephaly. Polycephalus. I go away for one second. This is what happens. What are you doing? What is it? What is? What, what's the definition of this? Dummies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was. You think he's open? Wow. Fine. Whoa, whoa, we're growing ants! We're growing ants! Oh, oh my shell! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hope you guys 
enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also, hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one. Go busy. Go, go, go busy.